Hi, I'm Christopher Walker with Closely Observed Teaching and if you can hear me over the uh, PA you'll know that I'm at a football stadium. This is the Stadion Miejski in uh, Bielsko Biała and I'm here to see a match between uh, Bielsko Biała's team, uh, the main team here which is uh, TS Pod uh, Beskidja and they are playing to today, forgive me I have to check because it's uh, it's the first league, you see, it's not extra class, huh? Yes, it's Pod Beskidja against Vigri Suvalki. So, join me at the match. The teams were about ready to come out onto the pitch. Uh, I got here just in time, actually. I was trying to get here a bit earlier, but the trains were on, uh, the buses. Sorry, we're running a bit late, um, but it's uh, very easy to get into a match here. It's not as expensive as um, it would be back in England. Uh, my ticket cost me 20 zwoty. Uh, I think women get in for a zwoty, one zwoty. So that's the equivalent of about 20 pence British money at the moment. Uh, if you're interested in coming to any matches in the Polish leagues, uh, they take uh, hooliganism very seriously and they, they do a lot to prevent hooliganism so you need to bring a picture ID, uh, passport if you have it or a picture driving license, state ID if you've got that instead. So the match has already started as you can just see over the back of me, let's go and watch. There are not many people here, but you can really tell when they're singing because they make a bit of a noise. Uh, we've got some fans over there on the far side, the, the kind of ultras, if you like. Um, must be about 40 or 50 of them. There's a guy at the front beating his drum. Um, and uh, They'll call Bielsko, the other side shouts Biawa. So it adds a bit of atmosphere. Uh, it's uh, an attack now by um, Vigri, but it's been repelled pretty well. Uh, we're 20 minutes into the match and uh, it's been reasonably good so far. I mean, for 20 Zwarty you don't expect like a Manchester City against uh, Tottenham Hotspur sort of game. Vigor have already had one player taken off injured and now two people have gone down with a clash of heads. Um, but it is 1-0 right now to Pod Beskidja. Um, there was a goal within about the first five minutes. Pretty nicely taken as well. So, uh, into additional time at the end of the first half, they've called for five minutes of additional time. It's all happened here, it's amazing really. Uh, so Podbeskidja was sitting pretty until about the half hour mark, leading by that one goal, and then suddenly uh, Vigri got a free kick down at the, uh, the Podbeskidja end, 
wonderful, wonderful free kick. Far corner, beautiful shot, you can see it in the video. And then just about a minute or two later, another attack by Vigri. Uh, player brought down in the area, penalty, and the referee decided that the foul was bad enough to warrant a red card. So uh, <laughs> I paid my 20 swati, I paid six swati more to get myself a beer, might have another one later and some of the uh, fried um, goat cheese, the Ostipek that Poland's so famous for. Let's have a look. Oh, that was a close one for Pod Biskija. Nice shot from a free kick there. This is, oh, this is great fun. Okay, just into the additional time at the end of the second half now. And uh, what a match. I mean, is that, no, no, it's not over yet. It's still going. Uh, last chance for Vigri, maybe to snatch something. At the end of this, there's been a foul. There's a bit of a scuffle over the ball. Anyway, it's 3-3, three, three. Three up. And such symmetry. It was 2-1 at half time to Vigri. Then shortly after the break, um, Pod Biskidja got themselves a penalty. And then just after that, they had a free kick on the outside of the box. Top corner, unbelievable. Fantastic goal. So you think, wow, 3-2, that's it. Pod Biskidja have got it in the bag. But no, back come Vigri, right in the death. 90 minutes, plus one. Bit of a scramble in the area, comes to the outside of the edge, edge of the box, tucked into the far corner, just outside the reach of the goalkeeper. 3-3, three, three. and that looks like how it's going to end. It's been a really wonderful time here. I, I, I do love every time I come to this map, to this uh, stadium. Um, some of the locals don't really like the stadium, in all honesty, and I can understand why, because it's an expensive thing. I mean, as you can see from, from all of this, that's, that's, not something, that's not something cheap to make. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Handbags. Mm, I think someone's going into the referee's book. But anyway, a lot of people are a little bit upset still, so many years later, that uh, this stadium even exists. Uh, it was paid for mostly out of the public purse. So you can understand people getting a little bit upset, especially if they're not into football. You look at the number of people here, there's not many really, is there? Um, but I love it. It's one of the best things in Bielsko for me. I love coming here to see the match. I always get some entertainment from it and I find it's a really great place just to come and socialise with friends. 
And that's it. The end of the match. Great fun. So, if you're in Bielsko, come and check it out. Football is great. <laughs> Thank you.